Hello everyone, this is Bryant with SFOT Source, your premier guide to Six Flags over Texas. We are less than a week away from our Texas Six Flags parks reopening, so what better way to celebrate than by looking at a compilation of all the construction progress that has happened on Aquaman Power Wave. We're actually going to start from the time that they started demolishing Aquaman Splashdown all the way up until right before the park closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A handful of y'all have actually messaged us in regards to more Decade in Review videos. We've actually been working super hard on our two guide websites, both SFOT Source and SFFT Source, adding more historical information, more old photos, and that in return is going to help us with future Decade in Review videos, so sit tight for those. They are coming in the future. If y'all are unaware, there are many safety policies and guidelines that are going to be in effect when you visit your Six Flags parks here in the near future. I've actually put a link in the description below to our website that simplifies all those guidelines so that you can be prepared if you plan on visiting the parks soon. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these shots of Aquaman Power Wave construction. And as we wind around the corner here in USA past All American Cafe and Studio 6F, you will see that the landscape has changed quite a bit as there is a humongous fence around the Aquaman splashdown perimeter. And I'll try to give you guys kind of an idea of the extent of this fence because the extent is extensive. If I can say so myself, you can see Aquaman up there, still main structure intact. You can see that they have marked on the floor where this needs to go. And it's, uh, it's gonna be here for a minute. They have put these into the ground. So looks like Daffy Duck Bucket Blasters is still open and the fence will go along over there. We're not going to come quite this way yet. We will hit it from this way over here because we do want to walk around the front of Aquaman. And you can see from this angle that this construction fence line extends all the way down the front facing area of Aquaman Splashdown. So pretty serious we, stuff we got going on. Here's just another angle of that construction fence. You can see that the main ride structure way over here is still pretty much standing as is. So we can expect some pretty extensive things to start happening here pretty quick. So over here next to Majestic Theater, you can see that this fence line wraps all the way around here and blocks you off right over at Cloud Bouncer. So Cloud Bouncer is closed while this project's taking place and the Six Flags Railroad is closed, which leads me to my point that Boomtown Depot over here is also not going to be operating. So, let's we'll to see what the timeline is on this. I, I do think if they're ripping this ride out, it is going to be a pretty extensive length of time. As we walk up towards the entrance to Judge Roy's Scream, you can see that this fence cuts you off completely. So the pathway to Bugs Bunny Boomtown from here is completely blocked off with the construction fences having a little fun here at the construction site where they're removing Aquaman Splashdown. As you can see, we have a picture of Cyrus Cosmo holding a part in our mess banner and uh, they are saying we are preparing something, preparing for something big and new in 2020. So kind of fun to see all of the old characters. This is a character from the 70s. And on this banner, we have the founder of Six Flags himself, Angus G. Wynn, holding up a banner. So these are kind of fun. I like them. It's better than just staring at a fence with a green scrim on it, for sure. We do have another banner here. Here are the Speedlunkers, which occupied the Gold River Adventure location before Gold River Adventure. So it's another fun thing to look at. All right, y'all. Here is the progress on Aquaman Splashdown, as you can see. The station structure has been completely demolished. You can actually even see some of the rollers that lived kind of in the trough to move the boats along. And you can also see that the bridge that would have gone over uh, and gotten splashed on by the boats coming down the hill is also gone. So things are moving right along. I do, I do think there's gonna be something interesting here next year. I just, I wanna know in the comments below kind of what y'all think about what will be coming to this area. And it is worth noting that the, the main ride itself is still up. You can see the final drop there behind the trees. 
and the lift. I don't know if you can see between the two tents, the, the lighting's kind of bad, but they've only gotten rid of this back section, and at, I don't even know if they've gotten rid of the, the uh, rest of the run out, but the station and the exit splash bridge are gone. Sun's in kind of a bad spot, but I wanted to point out the reason that this construction fence is pushed all the way back to Judge Roy's scream is they're actually using this entrance through the fence here to get Aquaman pieces out. So it makes complete sense as to why it is like that. And you guys can see that uh, Cloud Bouncer is still completely intact. A lot of people seem to think this is leaving. I, I think it's staying right here, honestly. I think this is just closed down to get the Aquaman parts out of this area. I don't really know why this gate is open, but you can see where they've been kind of trekking stuff in and out of here. And uh, like I said, I didn't go into a back area to show you this. The gate is just open. So with that gate being open, we can actually get pretty much a clear shot all the way through. You can see that the trough has been pretty much completely demolished and there are pieces of the ride itself just kind of laying on the ground. And uh, they're really clearing that area out. And this kind of gives you an interesting angle as well. The, this area right here, that is where the drop is supposed to be. So the drop is completely gone off of Aquaman as well. I spoke too soon. Some of the drop is still left, but the whole bottom half of Aquaman's drop is actually gone. As you can see right here, it just kind of ends. So we're getting closer to this being completely taken out. And here is a look at the lift hill. We reported last time we were here that the whole station was gone. But now you can see the whole first part of the lift hill is gone. The only thing that is left is the top of the lift hill, the turnaround, and the upper half of the final drop. Everything else is a pile of dirt. So they're really wasting no time getting this out of here. And it's honestly, it's kind of crazy to just see this thing being taken apart because it's been here ever since I've been alive. Here's quite a striking angle of Aquaman splashdown. You can see that the lift hill just ends because it's gone. But you can see here that the whole turnaround still does exist. So it's gonna be interesting for them to get this down. They probably will have to close off some of this area back here. So it might be a few minutes before we see this taken out, but I guess time will tell. It's uh, certainly looking very different though. We're back in the USA section right here next to All-American Cafe. You can see there was like a deck area here on the corner that is completely gone and the basketball game next to it's completely gone. And as you can pretty much see through the scrim there, it's a big old patch of dirt where Aquaman used to be. We'll get a better angle of all of this as well. It's pretty crazy that right here in front of Daffy Duck Bucket Blasters you can pretty much see all the way through almost to uh, Batman you can see pandemonium up there and that's because the turnaround and everything of Aquaman is completely gone and like I said before you can just pretty much see all the way through this they, they did try to preserve some of the trees which is nice but staring right over at Justice League Battle for Metropolis one more final look at the Aquaman demolition site as you can see you can see all the way through to the uh, Bugs Bunny Boomtown attractions, which is pretty crazy. Uh, it's just kind of hard to really point out in video how this looks, but it's completely gone. Alright y'all, we ventured up to the top of Oil Derrick. It was finally open, and I just wanted to show you guys the big old plot of land that no longer has Aquaman Splashdown on it. They are preparing it for Aquaman Power Wave, and as you can see, Looks like they're pretty much ready to, to get started on the construction. We're over here at the Aquaman Power Wave construction site now that we have an official name for the ride. And they have added banners to the fence line that show you what is coming in 2020. And these are all things that we have posted before, but I will show you guys. Everything on the other side of the fence has looked the exact same since we did our last construction update, so I'll spare that for you, but here you can see what it looks like. Here's another banner that shows a lot of splashing happening. Those people look really unimpressed by the splashing. So I hope that's not a telltale sign of what's coming because I think I'm certainly going to be more impressed than that. Here's a quick look in the fence for those of you who haven't seen it. Big open space. Can I just point out one more time how possessed everyone 
on this ride looks. What is going on? We wanted to head over to the Aquaman Power Wave construction before it got too dark, and as you can see, there's actually more footer pieces hanging out in here. So you can see the studs sticking up. It's looking really great. They're moving right along with this. And like I said in our video before, these do take a while to cure. You can see through the fence here that they are waiting to pour another footer. This is on the end nearest Bugs Bunny Boomtown. So this is coming along really well. There is a footer next to this that I can't quite, oh, you can kind of see it. So you can see they're really getting this stuff going right here. Here's an interesting view from Boomtown. You can just kind of see how close all of this construction really butts up against pandemonium here. This is going to be very close because the edge of the ride actually sits right about here. So it is still is really weird being able to look straight through this area. But progress is moving right along. You can see from this angle up by Majestic Theater, there's quite a bit more footer pieces here. You can see all the rebar and studs that will actually go down into the ground where the ride will bolt onto eventually. And they're not wasting any time on these footers. And as we walk down the pathway a bit, you can see another big footer piece that's right at about the center of the ride. And also just kind of a better view of all of these pieces that are awaiting to be installed. Exciting stuff happening here at Six Flags Over Texas. We're over here at the Aquaman Power Wave construction site, and you can see there are more foot footers than last time, my goodness. And uh, you can actually see kind of in this area right here, they are actually beginning to build a trough that will hold the water for the ride. So things are coming along really nicely here. We don't actually see anything going vertical yet, but I bet we're not too far away. And kind of from this angle, you can see more footers that have been installed for actual structure of the ride, kind of there in that midsection. That's new since we've been here last as well. And we kind of got up at a different angle. You can see more of this trough that's going in. I'm sure that they will start going vertical here pretty soon. I'm sure that the trough is kind of a little bit of a secondary project. Here's a look at Aquaman Power Wave construction from the Bugs Bunny Boomtown end. You can kind of get a better look at some of that footer work and the trough that's going in. I know it's kind of hard to see some of it, but... And just for our hardcore theme park nerds, you can see all kinds of conduit and stuff waiting to go in for the ride. This is kind of over towards Taz Tornado. Looking good. And before we leave for the day, just wanted to point out that there are more pieces for Aquaman Power Wave out in the parking lot. You can see lots of rebar and supports back there in the blue. So things are showing up and ready to get going. All right, folks, we made our way up onto the top of Oil Derrick, and here is a look at the Aquaman Power Wave construction from the air. You can see kind of that trough that the that will hold the water is being built, and there are some supports now up that you can see. So really exciting to see it from this vantage point, because once we go back down on the ground and show you more, not going to get quite the same effect. So we're making our way into the Gotham City section. Wanted to stop by over by Majestic Theater so that you could see more of what's going on here at Aquaman Power Wave. You can see that all of these supports have started going up and they're doing a lot of other stuff. Very busy active construction zone on a Saturday. Here's kind of a different angle for you so you can see the amount of supports that have gone up. And uh, that's really all you can see from this side. There are some supports kind of sticking out right over here in front of Pandemonium that will hold one of the spikes. Here's kind of an interesting view for y'all of the supports down here on Aquaman Power Wave. I know we're just kind of showing this right off as we go down the pathway. Here's the other end of the construction area that's closest to the Bugs Bunny Boomtown section. And you can see things are moving right along. Lots of conduit coming up out of the ground back here. And then of course we have our spot straight from Bugs Money Boomtown. You can see the support pieces coming right up and you can see more of the footers down on the far end near Pandemonium. 
And uh, before we ever even head into the park, you might see one little thing sticking up over the tree line that is different than what the park looked like last weekend. And you can see there, kind of on the right-hand side of the screen, Aquaman Power Wave. It's near spike is showing its existence. And it also has track installed on it as well. All right, we're in the park. It was real easy to get in. And right here in the USA section, right at the entrance of Bugs Bunny Boomtown, boom, you have that first spike of Aquaman Power Wave. And you can see that the supports are kind of that rich baby blue. And then of course you have the turquoise color, which is the track. And it's just right there in your face. It peeks up over everything. It's definitely gonna have a presence. Of course, we'll get a little bit closer. And right here at the side entrance of Bugs Bunny Boomtown, we're real close to that spike now. Boom. It was a tight fit, like we had assumed. But you can see towers up to the top. Really, uh, man, it's a lot of presence. I feel like they haven't built a ride lately that has a huge presence like this. So it's very cool and very interesting. So here is the angle from right over by Daffy Duck Bucket Blasters. Nice tree in the way. I'm glad they didn't get rid of this tree though. Park definitely needs them. But you can see that even over the hump over here, they have installed track. So if you kind of come across from Justice League, there is this Coca-Cola stand. Right in between the Coca-Cola and Dippin' Dot stand, you can actually see the hump of the ride. It does definitely look bigger than the rendering, so that's kind of cool. And uh, right now, while this fence is kind of sagging, we can actually see that hump. So this will kind of be where the entrance of the ride goes under so that you can get to the far side to the station and the loading area. Here's another pretty good shot of that hump as well through the fence. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I think this hump might actually kind of be the secret awesome part of this ride. We'll have to wait and see. The sun is playing a little havoc on us right now, but here in Boomtown on the other side of Pandemonium, you can see that hump and you can see the tower and then of course Pandemonium going by. So the other tower is actually going to end up right here really close to pandemonium so i bet that's gonna go in this upcoming week i i don't know why it wouldn't and here is another shot of the construction from kind of the majestic theater area hump and supports and spike about half the ride is built and then of course they'll have to finish kind of the trough where the splash happens which is down there you can see that's kind of framed out and then of course you have your other spike that goes will go up this way right here and it'll be done and like i said i bet this area right here is probably the next to be built we'll have to wait and see now maybe the moment y'all have been waiting for is a look at aquaman power wave the track is fully installed we have our second spike here goes all the way up and uh man this thing is close to pandemonium that's pretty crazy and uh, you get a really good view of the kind of the hump and where the splashdown will be where you see that uh, plastic that's kind of where your splashdown is going to be and uh, they're actually working on uh, constructing that right now it doesn't look like it's going to be super big we'll have to see if we can get a better look at that here's kind of a higher up view of that kind of water area that they're currently working on it's crazy how fast this ride went up too and just to give you another angle of this back spike, you might be able to high five people when you're on Aquaman who are on Pandemonium. I am joking, of course. There's of course enough clearance for both rides to run in harmony, but it is definitely snug. Snug indeed. Here's a second look from the USA section of that back Aquaman power wave spike that's been installed since we've been here last and uh of course because it's spring break you gotta have all of your fruit floaties here on the construction wall and uh i i'm actually really enjoying the spring break theming so far it's fun and it kind of reminds me of you know the mid to late 2000s where they kind of really went all out for the uh, spring break decor and just to give you all a quick look at what's going on in the area that will be the station for aquaman power wave 
a lot more concrete since we were here last, but no kind of outstanding structures to point out right now. And of course we couldn't walk away from Aquaman Power Wave without giving you the Bugs Bunny Boomtown look. And uh, you can see it's pretty much uh, looks the same it always has, except there's a huge spike there now. So uh, looking really awesome. It has a huge presence. <laughs> 